CFA Society Sri Lanka CEO Forum, Rebooting Sri Lankan Economy Post-Domestic Debt Optimization, where industrial leaders facilitated a constructive dialogue on opportunities and challenges created for the Sri Lankan economy and industries with announcing the DDO program was held in Colombo on Friday. Dr. Nandalal Virasinghe had delivered the keynote address. New Central Banking Act, now finally we have been able to get it passed on the parliament, now it's a law. So more importantly, this act provides what we call the necessary legal framework to adopt flexible interest rate targeting regime. Someone asked here in the morning, do we have to go to the, do we, there will, whether there will be a second DDO. If we <coughs> deviate from the path, there could be a DDO. Nothing. There could be another default of bankruptcy. That's very clear. For example, now government has committed 2.3% primary surplus. They go back to what we had minus 6% primary surplus. Then there will be another in in unsustainable situation. There could be a need for another DDO. This is why it is we don't need another DDO. So this DDO is quite strong enough and consistent with the targets to restore the sustainability. Subject to the fact that other elements of policies, the policy path should also move par parallelly, both fiscal policy, structural reforms and growth path. In my view, this DDO and restore the sustainability is a much more conservative path if you do it right. If you may try to give an estimate, how long it might take for us to go back to maybe a 2019 ratings where we were borrowing from capital markets? As you know, from 2016, over the next six years, we downgraded Sri Lanka six times. So we had what's called a soft landing. You know, uh, we would have had chaos if we were at a, say, at a higher rating and had a free fall at a default immediately. And if you want to go to a capital market and, and actually raise capital, typically you need to be at a minimum B minus or a B flat. So uh, for us to go there uh, depends on a lot of uh, what we do, as, as the governor was also saying, how much of what we say we will do, both in, in, in terms of domestic economy and how we manage our external finances uh, will we'll, uh, have a bearing on that. I, I can't see that movie uh, happening maybe, it will take maybe two or three years. I, I, uh, I'm not, don't hold me to that, sure. but uh, that's the kind of time horizon. I think government has presented, uh, committed to a medium to long term, the macro stability structural reforms and growth enhancing all these things. And it's, it's I think, your responsibility as all stakeholders as a public, private sector, a public, just to ensure the government, the elected by you, would move in the same direction. If there's any deviation, it's your responsibility to get them on track. Otherwise, you all will be affected. So that is, I think, this I don't blame the government politician that they change. It's your responsibility to ensure the people who elect by you would move in the same direction without deviation. Deviating from the path that we already presented, that has to be the path. Any deviation, that's a stakeholders, private sector, everyone, uh, have a good, very good small responsibility to get them back on the track. Otherwise, everyone will be out of the track. This forum also focused on action that needs to be implemented by multiple stakeholders to ensure Sri Lanka is set on a sustainable growth path.